Rub the money duck right now, everybody. Rub, rub the money. Everybody, the, the, we're going to introduce you to the money duck. This okay. is the money duck. You must rub the money duck if you want to make all the money. So we're going to talk money right now. So you have to rub the money duck. Okay, everybody rub the money duck. Are we, are we watching adults in a business situation with a rubber ducky and rubbing it, calling it the money duck? Really? They, you're, we want to make all the money? Yeah, you do want to make all the money. That's why you went from Odair. And that's why you're probably sitting on the top of the compensation plan, right? Because you've got a bunch of people that you convinced to come over with you. That's gross. Number one, everybody's rushing for gold. If you're in and you're rushing for gold and you're not going to put your head down on the pillow at night every night because you've done everything that you can do to get there, drop the gold, okay? Because we all running for that gold right now, okay? I hear the AAVE. Also, something tells me that when Brin's off, she's not very nice. I can just hear the edge of, like, you better f- do this, you know? meeting you here in this little old place. I'm Tish and this is Echo Echo. Oh, I need to put my bunny ears on. I'm cute, see? <laughs> Look. What company is this again? I'll look it up and put it on the screen. I can't remember, but it's a good brooch company. Uh, this is from Dizzy, House of Dizzy. This is, I made this. It's Palestine, because it's free Palestine. Yeah, okay. Um, how are we going, everybody? I wasn't going to make a video. I already made a video last night. But I'm going to watch a little bit of this frequency thing, because there's one, and, and it's it's got, like, um, Marina Simone and, and Bryn and Emma DeLuf, and they're all, like, like, in the... <laughs> Hi, so, how's everybody going? Um, it's the beginning of the video, and I don't usually say this, but if you could like and subscribe, it's a free way of showing me support okay i love doing this this is i i'm very passionate about making videos you know uh it's time consuming it's easy but it's just time consuming and i'm also studying at the moment <laughs> i'm trying to work out what my uh, i've got an assignment doing two two days i can't work out what it is <laughs> uh yeah so bachelor of psychology that's where i'm heading uh, and I think I'll do art therapy. I'm a full-time teacher, as most people know, and I do anti-MLM videos, basically, but I've been doing a little bit of commentary as well, and just unethical influences and scammers. So I have a members, members, and there are perks. There's good perks. And I, if you want to join, that'd be super good. And there's like a cheap tier, cheapest, it's like a dollar a month. It's great. So if you could support me, that'd be great. And if you can't afford that, that's fine because it's a cost of living crisis. Hello. Uh, just liking and leaving a message, subscribing if you're not already, and maybe even sharing their video. That could help. The algorithm. They like that. They like that. All right. So we are going to be looking at three big names. Uh, I didn't know Amber, Amber before, but I did know Bryn. I can't even remember why I knew Bryn. Um, but because she's always been, like, in Most Powerful Women and, you know, like, amongst those higher ones that are pretty well known. And Marina Simone I knew from Most Powerful Women in Network Marketing, which is the Marine, Marina Worry event thing that they have every year. Uh, yeah, so I knew her. They were in Modair. They, Marina was... I'm going to say she was prospected by Barb Pitcock, the founder, one of the founders of Frequence. And Barb was like, hey, Marina, do you want to come and do our graphic design? Even though you're not a graphic designer, do you want to come and do that for us? And then she joined the company. Was there any money involved? I don't know. Uh, maybe. I don't know for sure. I'm just asking a question. I'm just saying. Wonder if there's any money involved in her coming over. What do you think, everybody here? Mm, they're all shrugging as well. Yeah, so, you know, I just think it's funny that they went to Marina Simone to set up their, um, like, their back office and shit like that. So, yeah. 
And then Bryn came over, then Emma DeLuve came over, and then they cross-recruited, and there's been just, just, you know, a mass amount of people leaving my dad, because my dad looks like they are... Sound effects, yep. Mm-hmm. Now, the other thing, hopefully this won't be too hard to edit... I am changing what I'm teaching next semester, next term, because we're losing a wonderful teacher. He's a really cool guy. I'm going to miss him because he's real positive. He's a real, like, he'll he'll always cheer your day up. So, uh, and he only only left because there was some, some family things going on. So I'm taking over his media classes. So that's basically, you know, making short films and things like that. And they all use Premiere Pro. I have used Premiere Pro before, but I don't like it as much as I like Filmora Wondershare. Filmora Wondershare, for anyone who's like a beginner, if you're looking for a sign to start making anti-MLM content, do it. There's so much stuff. There's a free folder that DC set up on Google, and I always drop stuff into it all the time. Yeah, so Filmora Wondershare, Wondershare Filmora is a really great, easy editing software. Uh, But I'm going to give Premiere Pro a go including After Effects. Uh, I'm nervous. All right. So we're going to watch this. i got a pie here. This is just, you know, a typical old reaction. I'm going to be watching it closely. And I do apologize if you can hear the dogs in the background. We One day, without a, an incident between Wilbur and, uh, and Murphy. So we're doing okay. We're doing well, everybody. And... The girls are still all in heat, <laughs> and that's what you might be able to hear, just panting, constant panting. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so you might hear that, and like maybe some barking if, if, um, if Wilbur doesn't get what Wilbur wants. <laughs> What's up? up? Ew. <laughs> I'm going to put this on the screen, but I'm not happy, because this is... Like, what we're watching here, or what we're looking at, is a bunch of people who just left a company and abandoned their downlines. I mean, they want their downlines to come. But basically, you know, abandoned their teams to come over to a new company where they are at the top of the compensation plan already, even though it's only been open for a month. (laughs) Uh, And visionaries and getting bonuses. And I'm sure that there might have been bridge contract bonuses in there as well. That's what me and my friends who I was talking to before was talking about. And, um, yeah, they're just having a, they're just having the best time of their life. Because <laughs> they, you know, they're so, it's just, it's just all fun, guys. <laughs> Alright, um, let me get what I need on the screen. See? Look at, look at him. <laughs> Welcome to the gold rush. Ew. It's, it's just it's so cringe, you know, like, it's the same thing as Kristen Wyatt and those guys. I think it's such poor taste to be gloating about how much money, the thousands and thousands of dollars that you're getting right now when everybody is struggling and you're selling your shitty digital course. All right. How long is this? It is? Oh, it's not as long as I thought it was going to be. Okay. We might get this done tonight. I'm not going to post it tonight, Tish. I'm looking at myself in the, in the camera now. You go to bed at a decent time. You are at bed because you'll be tired in the morning if you don't go to bed at a decent time. You can finish it tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Thanks, everybody. for could have that word in private, I suppose. But, you know, here we are. Freak wounds, affiliates. Freakers. Freak ups. Freakers, get your freak on. There's just so many different things we could say right now. Okay, hold on. Let me just make sure we are live in the group. Hold up. Wait a minute. I don't think everybody knows about our, our messy beginning of lives yet. <laughs> oh, we're there. I see us. We're there. We're going to learn tonight. Hi. This is the people at the top of a compensation plan. I don't think everybody knows that we're actually really shit at this. <laughs> and really, we just got lucky by being in the right place at the right time and being ruthless and not caring where our money came from, from the bottom of the compensation plan. <laughs> Fucking that's gross. Yeah, freak out. Freak out. Ooh, cringe. This is from the Facebook group in which I am a member. I'm sure there's plenty of you in there as well. Same with all the Nilo life ones. <laughs> you know, it's funny because it used to be pretty hard to get into groups, but it's not these days, you know, because they're desperate. They will, they're just so desperate that they just need as many people as they can in the groups, but 
Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> okay. Hey. We got hey, work. What, what do you say, Amber? Uh, I say hi, guys. I'm not weird. All right. Well, that's her. her. It's usually a hey, hey, hey. So. Oh, there you go. You have your thing. Hey, hey, hey. I say hey. 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 Lurk. All right. So those of you who are on here, drop a twenty like the most. Hello. Whoop whoop. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Like, we're not having a competition, but different people got different different strokes for different folks. You know, I guarantee you all win because the whoop whoopers are always. I knew there. it was. Uh, are we, am I detecting a little AAV either? I hope I don't hear it again, Bryn. Very what? It's gonna be a competition. I'm sorry. Why? It is you. Guys, it's not always. Even though that's like they're joking, they're not. <laughs> it's a Rude. This is my favorite emoji ever. <laughs> if you guys ever see us do this, just know we're making fun of Bryn. 100% Or of I'm mine. making fun of you. No, no never. Not so much. <laughs> What's up, Brian? Uh, Hi, Danielle. Businesses don't, like, this is meant to be, businesses don't run like this. Like, this is not professional. You know, I mean, what am I expecting? I know, but, like, because I've been watching JJ's videos on Melissa Collins. They're just so unprofessional. It's just compounding. You know, some, some things will hit me at different times, like, where I'll be like, oh, I can't believe they lie. And... Yeah, they lie all the time, but, and I'll, you know, like, just different parts of what they're doing will hit me at different times, and I'll just be stuck on one thing, and at the moment, I'm stuck on unprofessional. Mm. Oh, we've got some rock stars on here. Actually, yeah. three stars. That was thank you, Brad. Three stars on here. We're super excited. We're going to give it a minute. Mm. You know, people are jumping on, and there was a little confusion about where we were coming in, so go ahead and share this into your team chats if you have them, or tag your affiliates on this. This cannot be shared outside of the affiliate. What was that? <laughs> oh, I love it. I can't wait to hear what we're going to hear because it's they think it's behind closed doors. But here we go. Here we go. Going live at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern on the live link. So if you had a little confusion, sorry, we kind of just threw this in last minute because we had some exciting stuff we wanted to share with you guys. And I'm literally so excited. I'm like so pumped. So what should we do while we wait for 60 more seconds? Ooh, I want to know. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. What did you have for breakfast? I mm -hmm. fasted. Well, I've had crackers because I've been throwing up for three days. Oh. I like that she, it's my favorite when Rena's like, what should we do? But she doesn't pause and then immediately tells us what we're going to do. That's my brain. That's yeah. my brain. I didn't eat breakfast, but I did get to watch <laughs> Amber warm up her crestable. What is it? Crestless? It's a thing. Do you want a jelly thing in her shirt? Uncrustable. Okay, this is a question. I think this is important. This is a question we need to ask right now. Who has okay. ever had an uncrustable? That's the question. That's because not the question. Who <laughs> defrosted my own peanut butter and jellies? What? All right, guys, listen. Listen, we were working really hard today. They said, can we hop on? Amber had not gotten to eat lunch, and I don't fast. I like food. Okay, so I had an uncrustable. It was frozen. I tucked it down in here to defrost it a little sooner, okay? And I said, some of you are probably judging me, but I don't care. I was hungry. They want to work all day and not let me eat. Oh, that sounds really awful. Also, wouldn't that make you cold? They're still a little bit in winter, aren't they? Okay, that's true. <laughs> we did that to you when we went to Dallas. Take you all this time and can I get some food? Please. No, you know what the worst part is? So Jody and I both fast until dinner. We've been doing this for over a year. And so like when we go like out of town places and River brings his friends, like we legit forget to feed the kids. Because we don't think about food. We're like, can you please remind us? Can you please remind us that you need to eat? <laughs> my, my, my husband waits until dinner too. And then like if we go out, the kids are like, can we get lunch? And he's like, why do you guys always have to eat? I'm like, because that's what I'm hungry. Not in the twilight zone. What the fuck? Huh. Brent, you and your husband forget to feed your children because you don't eat? That's really bad. And Amber's husband doesn't want them, everybody to eat? What the fuck is going on? You guys are weird. 
Ooh, Dave almost said hello. I'm just going to put that out there. He just forgot a couple R's. I just want to know who's the whoop whoopers because the whoop whoopers are my kind of people. Like, whoop, whoop. Well, I don't know who said it, but because it's this Facebook user, but they said, do not let Amber get hangry. That is 100%. If I say I'm hungry, you have about 15 minutes to locate food <laughs> or you're going hungry. to have regrets. <laughs> so okay, I need to a threshold in my purse for you. Like treats for a puppy? Yes. This is terrible. <laughs> um, you guys are hum humans? Who are supposed to like each other? Like, it's all fun. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. And also... What was I gonna say? Something about the weep weep. Oh, I can't remember. I don't know, it was something else like, hang on, let me go there, let me go back 10 seconds. Or you're going to have regrets. So okay. I need to get a threshold in my purse for you, like treats okay. for a puppy? Yes. Okay. All right, are we ready? Yeah. Why are you going to move your microphone? Aren't you using it? Oh no, maybe not because it isn't a podcast or whatever. I mean, I'm like five minutes in, we could do this for another 20, but we're going to respect your guys' time. Yeah. Although we know we're hilarious and we could have our own like reality show. Wrong. No. Oh, I am so fucking sick of these people with main character syndrome. You're just middle-aged women. There's nothing special about you. Nothing. You're middle-aged women. I mean, there is one thing that's special. You you scam people for a living. That's pretty fucking special. So maybe a reality show exposing you as scammers. Let's see that one. These people. I'll mind my unibrow because it's been a minute. My lashes are off. This is launch mode. Who cares? I, I wouldn't have even thought about it, but you pointed it out. I'll just talk. I have never been on camera with a unibrow and with no lashes. Um, you didn't have any lashes on when you went live. Was that either, was that about the joining frequency or about uh, the lawsuit with the guy who was left and you're like, I'm planting my flag and staying here. My God, this screenshot. <laughs> I was like, she's ripping her eyelashes. I'm getting a screen cut. Uh, oh, that's great. Oh, look, it's uh, Robin and, and uh, Sarah. Oh, I'm in the wrong screen. It's Robin and Sarah who prospected in this. Oh, there we go. Uh, that freaking screen. <laughs> Bryn's got the best camera. Anyway, let's keep going. How much we believe in what we're doing here. Bullshit. Well, I need to get them off so I can get them redone and just need to get them. Anyway, how many of you can feel launched? Like, you feel like you're in a launch. Oh, it really did come out. How many of you feel like that launch mode where you're like, oh my gosh, we're having so much fun. Drop the word launch in the comments. If you're like, oh, this, I'm sorry, the pause game is terrible, but um, it does not, like what you're going through doesn't seem like fun because everything that you're doing indicates that you're not really having fun. Like you haven't got your lashes done. You haven't got your brows done. You're not eating. Like you're working for, it doesn't seem very fun. It does seem like you're in launch mode, but. It, it's funny because like, this should be a rare thing where you're relaunching at a different company, but it's not, unfortunately. So, you know, it's interesting. It's interesting the way they're dealing with it. And also, like, it's from the perspective of trying to build your business, which is, in essence, scamming people. Oh my God, this is so much fun. We have no idea what we're doing, but we're having a blast. Amber misses this feeling. I know a lot of you have missed this feeling of being this excited. Just excited about products that make you feel good and excited to talk about them to people. Like, my dear. How long have you been feeling like this, Marina? Because it was not too long ago when you said you were, you know, planting your flag and you came up with the five, five day drop and all that shit find it very hard to believe because of, you know, things like that.
I'm excited and I'm not a product pusher and I'm ready. Like I'm just so excited. So here's why we brought you on here tonight. We are going to welcome you to the gold rush. That's what it sounds like, if you didn't know. Mm. Ow. I was like, no. Mm -hmm. Gold rush, no. Alright, well we'll figure out a sound that goes with it. Uh hopefully I'm good ticket talk. But here's what we want you to know. We had some pretty cool conversations <laughs> today. And one of my favorite conversations had to do with hey. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Barb and Dave just jump off. Rub the money duck right now, everybody. Rub, rub the money everybody. Th th we're gonna introduce you to the money duck. This okay. is the money duck. You must rub the money duck if you want to make all the money. So we're going to talk money right now. So you have to rub the money duck. Okay, everybody rub the money, money duck. Are we, are we watching adults in a business situation with a rubber ducky and rubbing it, calling it the money duck? Uh, I, I'll just say that I didn't really expect it from this 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 call and really they you're we want to make all the money yeah you do want to make all the money that's why you went from Odea and that's why you're probably sitting on the top of the compensation plan right because you've got a bunch of people that you convinced to come over with you that's gross this is how we make money okay go ahead okay so you guys realize that on first orders we get paid 20 percent right Go recruit somebody, make a sale, you get paid 20%. Did you know that if anybody placed a reorder, you got paid 20% on that reorder too? Like a money bag or a money sign. Okay. Did you know that normal salespeople continue getting a 20% or whatever, probably way better than that, commission? Whenever they sell our product. Uh, they weren't supposed to do that, but they did that. Can we all just say thank you for the extra money? Rub the money deck. OMG. Some of you don't even know that happened. And I'm like, let's point that out right now. Okay? That's a big deal. Isn't that cool? That's crazy. What is it before then? I don't, I'm sorry. I don't understand how that's a good thing. Is it usually worse? You usually don't get... Shouldn't you just get a flat commission rate? That's bullshit if you don't. Well, thanks for doing the bare minimum, Barb. Okay, but wait. There's another secret. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell this secret either, but... So all that reorder volume that happened, most of it's going to end up accidentally in, 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 in the legacy tree too. So what that means is, is that that 5% on those reorders is getting paid out in the March 15th check. So just know... That an oopsie, just, yeah, baby, money, money moves, okay? So they, corporate, know, <laughs> and they let this happen. Can we just get an amen in the... I'm getting that distinct feeling that we got at the beginning of El Amir when there were people just giddy with the thought of how much money they're going to make. And, you know, it's all well and good to say, well, they let it happen and um, the money is still coming from the downline. It is still exploiting those people at the bottom. And Bryn sitting in the middle going, yes, I can't wait to count my fucking millions. It, uh, frankly, it's disgusting. Comment for our CEOs and corporate staff who have been working tirelessly to get this office back up, to get the shipping out. Because you guys, when I tell you we have broke some things, we just keep breaking some things because that's a freaking thing. Hang on, let me, she can finish this. This is happening. Yeah, that's what Elamir did too. Elamir, they had to get in another machine or some shit, remember? They weren't fulfilling orders, etc., etc. And she said, breaking, wait, we're breaking things? What do you mean? The, like, records? Orders? For some reason, it's like Amber's not quite as into this as the other two. Like, she didn't rub the money duck, you know? Insane in the membrane. So, prepare yourselves. 
Uh, Barb has an announcement tonight at 8 p.m., so you want to make sure you're on there and things will come from her. But just know it's time to run. And Bryn and Amber are going to talk about that right now. Oh, me? Can I talk now? I'm so excited. I hope you all rub the money doc. You will, you will get to know me well on my money doc. I love, I love my money doc. I actually have quite a few of them. This is kind of the first time I've seen her talk, and I'm, I don't like it. I'm not thinking I'm going to be covering him more. Take that Guns and Roses shirt off. You don't fucking deserve it. Shove your fucking money, duck. So who wants to know what we mean by gold rush? Can I talk now? Drop gold in the comments if you want to know why we're rushing for gold. Okay, so... So they are already on the fucking thing. Like, why? Why do they? You don't need engagement. You know, like, oh, they just want people to be hyped, I suppose. But it's like, we get it. Fucking hell, they don't have to drop anything. Can they just listen? Let, let me just put, let me just paint a little picture here. So a lot of you, right, are running for visionary. And if you are new and you don't know what visionary is, there will only ever be one hundred visionaries in this company. Okay, so forever and ever and ever. Those who are visionaries will get special treatment. They will have special things at events, really cool stuff. Like, this is what's fun about getting in on the beginning, right? So, so um, the, they've filled the 100, 100 visionaries. Yeah, they did this at Awaken with the founders. And um, they just had a lot of new founders come out with Awaken because of their genius, like their AI thing. So, yeah, I mean, great. Like, what, what are the perks, though? What are the perks? Because you don't know them yet. Like, being a visionary of a company that goes bust in two years is nothing, you know? It's just one of those things that they get people to run for to make the numbers go big at the beginning of the company. I think this company will be bust in probably probably two years. Like, away, uh, Elamir was probably um, maybe a year of sort of, no, not even, like six months where it was hardcore, like people looking at what they were doing. Well, maybe up to a year. I don't think these guys, I think those guys might have just as much. Is 5,000 in personal volume. That would come from the orders that you place yourself. It comes from your customer orders, reorders, and your affiliates' first orders. Okay, that's how you add up your status when it comes to visionary. Now, I believe we have, what, like 30? There's like close to 30 left? I think there's 30 couple, like 30-ish left. Yes. Okay, to get into the visionary. Now, that is 5,000 in personal volume. But I know a lot of you probably don't know our comp plan very well yet because we're not quite in it. Well, we're in it. But we can't, we can't quite feel it and feel in it yet, right? But there's a little something called gold that is really the place that you want to run for as fast as possible. Now, I'm going to give you a couple reasons why. So what is gold? So that you get the most money from them. That's the reason why. So the company gets the most money from them and the uplines get the most money from them. That's it. That's why you need to run to any any uh, level. Gold is 5,000 in total volume in a month. Okay, so this is not personal volume. This is total volume. Has Marina done some face acting? Like, she was like, she was all in then. Oh, uh, 5,000 total? God damn it. Which means everything that goes on underneath you as well counts towards gold. So, here's what's really cool about gold. At gold, not only do you unlock the legacy bonus, which I'm not going to go into, but it's a lot of extra money, okay? But you also max out on the amount that you are making on reorders in your downline, both affiliates and customers. You max out at that 25%, okay? So this is why going gold is what you wanna run for, okay? I know a lot of you guys have been keeping track of your visionary, which is amazing, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna help you rush for gold through the end of this month. Now, we can't really see what's going on underneath us yet. We will know soon, just letting you know. We can't really see what's going on underneath it. Why were we, why are we winking? What do you mean? Can you see what's going on underneath it? <clears throat> Can you? But they can't. 
That's so, that is so shady. What the hell is going on there? Why do these people have more knowledge than everybody else? I know why, but you know what I mean? They're just distributors like everybody else. Mm. Just yet. But here's what we want you guys to know. Run your face off to gold anyways, because we have something really special for you. So we were on the phone with Barb and Dave earlier talking about how exciting it would be if we got a kajillion people to gold before the end of the month. Do you want to have a real sales like total instead of a kajillion because you're actually business people? Do you want to try that? What? It's just so weird. This whole vibe of this thing is so weird. Okay, who wants to be gold, by the way? Raise your hand in the comments. So we thought, what if we like threw a little fire on that? Not only all those things that I already listed, but what if the event in April is going? <clears throat> If you go gold before the end of February, you also get to participate in the special VIP Visionary Day. So if you go gold before the end of the month, at the very first event, you will be treated as a visionary, which means the photo shoot, which means the man, the manufacturing facility, like uh, walkthrough. And Anyone can get that fucking walkthrough, P.S. I don't know. I don't like it. Like... If I was a visionary, I'd be like, oh, what the fuck did I rush to visionary for if I, like, everybody else is getting it? Hmm. So, we are going to help you rush for gold. But we also want to throw a little extra fun stuff on top of there, because we love giving away crap. We love giving away crap. Those yeah. of you who've been on our team before know we love to give away. We love to give away some fun stuff, okay? So, here's what we're going to you, you at all, you know, you can spend... A couple of grand on some purses and some name brand things while you get paid a hundred grand a month, right? Right? So it's worth it. Number one, everybody's rushing for gold. If you're in and you're rushing for gold and you're not going to put your head down on the pillow at night, every night until you've done everything that you can do to get there, drop gold. Okay? Because we all running for that gold right now. Okay? I hear the AAVE. Also, something tells me that when Bryn's pissed off, she's not very nice. I can just hear the edge of, like, you better fucking do this, you know? But we also wanted to have another little fun promo that went along with that. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to do an amazing drawing for a Tory Birch post. You want to show it, Amber, the one we're giving away here? She looks great, by the way. Upset. Hold on, I want to open it real quick because I want you to see it. It looks so cute. It is a little Tory Burch crossbody. Ah, that's so cute. And it has, yeah, it's a full-on crossbody, guys. They didn't tell me I was showing it tonight, but it can be. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So cute. Anybody else obsessed with that? That is so cute. I think. No. I'm not obsessed with it, Bryn. It's a black purse. So the Tory Burch crossbody, plus we're giving away 20 of those frequent water bottles. I thought so many people in my inbox being like, how do I get one of these water bottles? They did it before we got here. <laughs> I want one too. I don't have one either. So we're going to give away this purse and we're going to give away 20 okay, of the, the water bottles. Now, obviously anybody who gets the gold this month, is going to get to, to be at the visionary day, right? We all got that, so everybody's running for gold. But we also want to help you get the gold and help your people get the gold. So we have a promotion that we're going to do that is for 25 total points. This is how you're going to get in to the drawing for the purse and for the water bottles. Everybody who gets 25 total points will go into that drawing, okay? And here's how you're going to get the points. And we are going to edit the top of this video afterwards, you guys, with all of the details so you know all this, you can tag everybody on this video if they missed it. And this is where you will drop the screenshots, okay? So, sell a five day experience, that's one point, okay? Sell a rise and vibe pack to a customer or a new affiliate, three points. Get a new affiliate with the 449 pack or higher, that's five points, okay? So everybody who gets 25 points total will get into the drawing for these prizes. Okay, now here's what you're going to do. 
you are going to tally up your own points and you're going to keep your little screenshots. And when you get to 25, you're going to drop them all in a bundle in the comments of this video. Okay, for the drawing. So we're rushing for gold to unlock the legacy bonus and to max out on reorders. And so you can have that visionary day, holy bananas, in April. And we're all going for at least 25 points to get into the drawing for the fun stuff. Am I right or am I right? Yes or yes. And by the way, guys, this goes from tonight, right now, through Thursday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern. Why are you talking like this? Do you not respect the intelligence of your people? Also, what do they have to gain for people being on gold? That's what I'd like to know. I don't understand compensation plans. We know this, right? This is this is true. This has always been true. A legacy bonus, obviously, that sounds a little bit like the Enagic thing, but... It just feels, uh, the whole time I'm here, I'm, I'm thinking, well, what's in it for you? You know, what's in it for you? Why are we rushing for gold? Is gold like, you know, like one of those things, uh, for example, in Monate, you know, that you need, if you need to get your, you know, get over the line, you know that you can buy uh, the oil for $100 and it, it will get you to your goals usually, you know. Okay, I'm going to try and look at the compensation plan. You know, I've got to say, Elamir had a bigger group. There's only 1,800 members in the Frequence Affiliate group. So it's not as big as the Elamir one was. And maybe, maybe this is just, I guess. And maybe Terry LaCour overshot it, you know, and... It, it did, you know, they did fly too close to the sun, and now they're nothing, you know? Okay, the 25 points does. The gold goes all the way through the end of the month. Because we have a really exciting announcement that we can't share with you, that Barb and Dave are going to share with you about that morning. Okay? The set, the set, set. Well, why do you know? Again, you're just a distributor like them, right? I hate this. Uh, and that is a form of currency for her, too. She knows. She's got an in. She's at the top. She knows all about it already because she's better than you. Don't you know? All right, Amber. Tell them how they're going to go gold. Give them some good tips. All right, guys. So let's talk real quick tips. I have a few quick things. If you're like, okay, yes, I want to go gold. One, I have no idea where the heck I am for gold right now. If anyone is, is there, just put no idea in the comments. If you have zero idea, look, I hate when they do that. Do you see? They like to do that so then you can see my mess. They always do that to me. Um... I had it so contained. Okay, so if you have no idea where you are, you're going to go in to your personal orders. You're going to take... Nice if, if they actually listened to Amber and respected what she wanted by not having, like, this out. Like, she didn't want that to be seen. And would be nice if they actually kept the... Kept it, like, nice for her, the setting. I don't think it's messy, but she said that she's not comfortable with people seeing the wider screen, Right? Love the Hermes box. Hermes. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know fancy brands. God, that was so bogan. <laughs> and if you have any affiliates under you, you're just going to message them and say, hey, we're running for gold. Go to your personal orders, total that, those up, and tell me where you are. Okay? Because if you're running for gold, guys, between you and your, your little pot of affiliates there, you can totally total it all up. Totally total. Totally total it all up and figure out about where you are. Okay, and then you're going to run. And I want you to run so hard before Thursday at 8 a.m. So that may, it's already done. And when the when everything comes together, you'll see it's already done. Okay, but um, <clears throat> so first I want you to figure out where you are. Okay, I want you to rally with your affiliates. How many duos are they committed to selling? Okay, like guys, we're all running for gold. How many duos are you committed to selling before we end this little run on Thursday morning? Okay, now I want you to get up in your stories. Okay. I want you to get in your stories and start talking product. All right, now I know it's so awkward. Okay, it's so awkward to talk in your stories, but I want you to get in there and start talking about your supplements when you're taking them, how you felt before you started taking them. I told someone today, I saw an ad for um, a brain supplement and it said, um, turns out I wasn't lazy. I just wasn't feeding my brain the proper food. And I thought, how many of you get stuff done when you're on the rise? Yeah? 
lots of you. And so what if you did something like that? Like maybe I'm not lazy. I just wasn't feeding my brain the right. Can you say that though? Is that a is that a health claim? Right food. Okay, that is the perfect curiosity post. Yeah, I'm gonna give a real quick on the curiosity post because I think most of you need this. So I'm gonna share my my formula. I shared it with other visionaries last night. My formula for curiosity post is find a pain point. Okay. Gratitude solution. You're going to hear me if I train on stage at any point in time or do any other recordings, you're going to hear this constantly. Curiosity posting. Pain point. What was something that you struggled with before? Pain point. What was something you struggled with before starting? The Probably not good to just like point out a mistake because I think Amber's at the bottom of this power structure because they won't even like let her be on the screen in the frame that she wants to be in. Um, so, yeah, don't point out their mistakes, Amber. You're not going to – you'll be in trouble. Were you exhausted all the time? Were – did you think you were lazy because you weren't getting things done? Did you feel scattered? Were you crashing in the evenings? Were you super cranky with your family? What has changed? Okay, so here would be the example. Oh, my gosh, I used to think that I was just so lazy. I'm so grateful I found this mushroom juice, and it helps me get ish done. Okay, pain point, I'm so grateful I solved the problem. Okay, and that that formula will work every single time, no matter what you're talking about. Do you, like, will it work for a sale every time or to recruit somebody every, every time? Because I don't think that you can make that statement, really. It'll work as a curiosity post? Huh? Okay, so... Use that, get a curiosity post up tonight. It could be a selfie of you with your, your juice, however you want to do it. Pain point, gratitude, solution, okay? And that way people will be like, okay, but what is that? I need help getting things done. I feel scattered throughout the day, you know? So use that in your stories, mix up your, whatever you're calling it. I call it mushroom juice. That just stuck for me, okay? Um, so someone says, I won't get my products. Lisa says she's not going to get a product until after the end of the month. Does not matter. So my girl Jackie is on here. She went visionary, which is 5,000 in personal referrals and had not tried the product yet. You can absolutely still talk about all of the benefits and say, you. okay, so here's your, if you haven't gotten a product. I think this is really bullshit. Like, you're going to say that our product is so good. You don't know for sure. When it's something you could try, you know what I mean? I have struggled so hard with focus and energy, and I'm so excited I have something on the way to help me, okay? I am so, I've been so tired and so squirrel-brained for weeks. I just started researching functional mushrooms, and I cannot wait to share what I've got my hands on, okay? So you can still share those testimonials. You can still share the five-day experience picture where we say drop pop because it explains what five days do. You can still share it. You don't have to have tried it to know what the product is doing for everyone else, okay? So in a chat, I'm sure someone can share a picture of the of their stuff mixed up, okay? Um, you can even say, oh my gosh, guys, I, what, what, I mean, whatever, whatever the, the pain point is, right? I'm so tired and I'm so snippy with my kids all of the time. My friend Jackie just shared this really awesome shroom juice with me and mine's on the way, okay? Don't get hung up on not having it yet because the testimonials and I'm charged up will tell you all the things the product will do. What are you excited? What are you most excited for when it comes? Right? So I don't know. Who, oh, it's gotta be Rita. Talk about my, anyone else a hockey fan? Drop hockey in the comments. Anyway. Okay. Uh, she says Facebook user, but I'm guessing that's Rita. Anyway. So does that make sense? So now in your stories, same thing, share what you've been struggling with and why you're excited to get your product. I promise you People, I knew it was Rita, people um, need what you need and they would be excited to learn about it too, okay? So please, please, please don't sit and be stuck because you haven't gotten your product yet, okay? I promise you, you can still share the benefits and the excitement and all of that because it's on the way, okay? So do your stories. If you have your product, mixing it up. Guys, every day, even if I'm not talking about the product, I am mixing up the product and I'm chatting, okay? Before bed. So just to let you know that, Amber, um, people are becoming a little bit more aware of what they're being sold for shit like that because that's what uh you know a lot of tiktok influencers are doing and getting into trouble for because they're not declaring what they're doing and who they're if it's an ad and whatever so i don't know if it's gonna completely work for you but i don't think any of these are great ideas but it's very it's very just like everybody does that and 
it's like a circle jerk of MLMs. MLM is selling the products to each other, you know? Um, sell five day experiences. Okay, because here's the deal. When the announcement happens, we're going to be able to purchase our products at our discounts, right? Sometime we will be able to do that. And so I want you to pre sell as many five day experiences as possible so that when that opens, you are ready to grab however many you need for this, this um, for your five day experiences, okay? So make sure you're selling those. If you have not followed up with prospects, anyone get ghosted? This is gonna be my last tip because I don't wanna keep you guys for too long. And I could talk this stuff all day, like this is this is my jam right here, okay? If you have someone who has ghosted you, dropped ghost, I know you guys can throw me off. Look, I shouldn't even watch these. You guys, the second people start talking about hockey, it's all over, okay. Who's gotten ghosted? Drop me a ghost in the comments, okay? So, <clears throat> someone says, oh my gosh, what is that shroom juice? You send Everyone. Amber, every single network marketer has been ghosted. <laughs> For sure. And all the information, you've done all the things, right? They ignore it. Okay, first, I want to say something. If you think they ghosted you, odds are they're a mom. They open that up and then they got sidetracked because someone called for them. So first, I'm going to say do not assume that you got ghosted. I always have people who are like, everyone is ghosting me. Stop assuming that. They were probably busy. Okay, so... That's delusional. I will do something like, I will take the blame. Okay, so if it's Rita, I'm going to say, I'm going to circle back around two days and I'm going to message her and say, oh my gosh, Rita, I, someone said they have a script for that. And I actually think that might be my, part of my script. And I don't script, I just talk, but I would pop in and I'd say, oh my gosh, Rita, I am so sorry. I sent you information and I forgot to even check in on you. Okay. I don't say, girl, you ghosted me. What the heck? Okay. Sometimes I will send a really funny, like stalker gif. And then I'll just say, oh my gosh, girl, just check in. I am so sorry that I sent you information and I didn't even check in on you. Did you have questions? Did you want to get started? Okay. So first, try that. Do, do network marketers realize they're not comedians? I don't know if they do. I don't know if they realize that being a comedian is an art, you know? Sending a gif is not comedy, you know? Hmm. The other thing you can do is hit them up and say, hey... Um, hey Jordan. Oh, it is Jordan. So that part of that was my script. <laughs> so I will message her and say, Hey Jordan, you know, when we last talked, you were really excited about, you know, getting your brain together or having more energy or whatever it is you guys talked about. You were really excited about that. And I know you weren't quite ready to commit, but I just now am offering some five day experiences for only 30 bucks and that includes shipping. Okay. So the people who ghosted you who weren't quite ready to commit, these are the people that we want to sell those five day experiences to. Okay. And so for that, um, the more five-day experiences you sell, you can purchase them when we get our discount. And guess what? Those purchases go toward gold. Okay. So break down where you think your team is. Okay. Ask them, ask them, we're rallying or running and then do the math and figure out how many duos you need to sell, get into your stories, get some curiosity posts up, all of those good things. Okay. All right. So yay, they're back. So we're going gold guys. We are going gold because next month guess what we're doing we're gonna go we're gonna go platinum right because we want to open up some platinum pools right so this is the first start okay but what i want you guys to remember is this the only freaking marina the only difference between, like you're doing karate or i mean yeah. i'm just glad that she brought us back on i wasn't thinking my nose or something i'm I mean, like I'm not right. about that but i knew you wouldn't care she wouldn't all i'm gonna say when we round this out is the difference between gold and the platinum guys is literally selling more duos so like don't get hung up this month is gold next month is platinum all right the steps are going to be the same so all right what else we got? Are we done? Yeah, it includes all of February, people. Yeah. 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 So let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Now, what we're doing, hold on. Let me just. Here, here. So all you can account for all of February. But this thing right here is from right now until Thursday at 8 a.m. Eastern. If the first 20 people to hit 25 points are getting the frequent branded water bottle and then entered into winning that beautiful thing thing that she just showed you. Okay. Okay. We're good? We're good. We do this? All right, we'll edit the top, you guys, just to kind of break down everything that we talked about. So this way you have it. Remember, this is where you're dropping your screenshots down below here. We're proud of you guys. Let's go rally. I love that. Let's go rally. Let's go do the thing. God, we're so powerful together. All of us. Not just us three. I'm talking about all of us. Oh, man. We had 240 people on at one point. Like, this is incredible. Let's go. Let's do it. Bye, guys. Just have to show you this screen. 
Uh, Amber said that was her jam, but she was like doing this with her neck the whole time. She has a sore neck because she's been working her ass off. Uh, I have pie in my teeth. I just, I, just I, I need to smile really big because I'm going to give you a brin face. So I want to make sure I don't have all the pie in my teeth. I'm brin. I'm always smiling. I'm not as pretty as her, obviously, but yeah, I don't, I'm not buying it. Like, the, it's too much. It's too much. Um, hmm. I don't know. It, it's funny seeing it, you know, from when I was watching it with Elamir as it was happening. I was going, I just can't believe these people are ranking up, they don't have customers, it's clearly a pyramid scheme, you know, and it just happens over and over again. And, oh, lo and behold, this is Terry LaCour company? Hmm. Hmm. And they were maxing out their Zooms. 240 doesn't seem a lot. And Marine's saying, we're so powerful, not just us three, we, we three are. <laughs> oh, I hate it all. And, and... You know, the fact that they're the chosen ones. We know about this announcement that you're going to find out about later, you know. It's, it's giving that hierarchy and, you know, the people who are at the top of multi-level multi marketing companies are not the smartest. They're not the best, you know. They're lucky. They had good timing. They had good networks. And they have no morals. So, well done, everybody. Yeah, all right. I did not think I would get this filmed and done. Like, it's only quarter past nine. I might even be able to post this tonight. But, Tish, don't post, don't stay up too late, okay? You're doing Premiere Pro. Yeah. All right. Thank you for being here. I don't like frequents. At least we didn't talk about any mental illness or addiction because I hate that. This was this was definitely more shop talk, you know, and it was more behind the scenes. And you can see what they do to try and get their downline, you know, enthused. So they offer these things. Frequents branded water bottle. The amount of work that that old talk would have taken. So much work you know, for their points that they're trying to give out. And the bag? Yeah, black carry bag. Woo! Great. I had to come back, y'all, because I, um, this paint, uh, there's been an update since yesterday. The dogs are still insane. Okay. Humping. Though I think... Oh, Murphy's over there. Look at cute. Oh, I'm gonna insert a picture of Murphy sleeping from last night. Because all his teeth... He had the teeth. It was very cute. Uh, yes, so the girls are getting sued. <laughs> yeah, the girls are getting sued by my dear. So we're going to have a little looky. little looky at some of their reactions. So, dear, dear Erin Bees. Um, she's the one, she posted the screenshots of the girls. All putting up the same post for getting sued. So we're going to take a little looky at that. And so I... Um, let me put that here. Yeah, so Erin did a video today reacting to one of Bryn's lives, which absolutely was cross-recruiting. Everything they did was cross-recruiting. This is a company that's so different. This is what, you know... They pay on the dollar. On the dollar, y'all. I'm not going to speak in AAV like Bryn does. And the absolute audacity of Bryn to use AAVE when she's a Trump supporter. Oh, that just made it even worse. Here's a picture of her. Yeah. 
Yeah, there it is. Okay, that's the wrong thing. I think. Let me move this. My keyboard's broken, so I have to use on screen. Can you see? Make America great again. So I've been doing, I don't care about a fucking cellulite. Who cares? No one does. I fucking care about that. Make America great again. Because it's going to benefit her. Rich, white, woman, this, hat. That's her paradise. Wilbur. Girls are getting a little bit um, weary of Wilbur's advances. Everything that's going to happen to Bryn is fine. She'll, you know, the world will burn. Um, Marina, though, I don't think, I think, is she Latino? The leopards will bite your face, honey. The leopards will bite your face. Ask Candace Owens what happened as soon as she didn't toe the line. Anyway, yeah, the mega hut. Fuck Bryn Lang. That's my opinion. Fuck her. And she was using and talking about in the video that Erin covered about her eating issues, binging and purging. So the fact that in this live, she talked about forgetting to feed her children because she was fasting is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. How can you be fasting responsibly? I don't know. I just, it's just a recipe for trouble. And she talked about, oh, I, I didn't want to sell weight loss products anymore. Oh, really? Modair has other products. You didn't have to just sell weight loss products. And... She also was talking about depression and anxiety and transparency in the products. They're a proprietary blend. You don't know what's in them. And helping people get fucked. You're a mega. You're a mega bitch. You don't care about people. You don't care about people. Just yourself. Anyway, that really fucking pissed me off, honestly. Here's brains. Oh, look. She's sad. Oh, no, she's not. I am deeply disappointed and hurt to learn of the recent lawsuit filed by my dear. You fucked them over, honestly. And you signed a contract, so you have, and you've cross-recruited. A place I called home and poured so much of myself into for six years. Um, yeah, and you also said that you built your coaching business off of that. So you got a lot out of it. You got a, a fuck ton out of it. Millions. So it's not like you didn't get anything out of it. While I cannot discuss details while litigation is pending, know that I will vigorously defend against the allegations made and remain hopeful the truth will be revealed in this process. You know, the legal system doesn't often, you know, put white people, more white men, but they usually don't put them in their place. But I have a feeling that my dad might get a little bit nasty on this and I don't support my dad but that'd be nice do you want to go after it go after her really hard my dad dig dig deep especially especially Barb Pitcock getting Marina Simone to do her graphic design and set up her back office you better be getting the discovery you better be getting every fucking line of communication because that that's where it is. Anyway, th if this looks, we're gonna we're gonna see this. I'm deeply disappointed and hurt to learn of the recent lawsuit filed by my dear, a place I called home and poured so much of myself into for seven years. While I can, very well, and I'm deeply disappointed. What the fuck? Oh my goodness! How ridiculous that they all have the same fucking thing same thing pathetic um the other thing i wanted to look at <laughs> a fucking screenshot oh my god that's so good um this disgusting Bryn lang you're disgusting just my opinion power in proximity when powerful women get together big shit is happening we are focused we are aligned and we are together and nobody owns us yeah you know what though I think that Modair owned your socials and they owned everything you did at Modair. 
And you might be saying, they don't own me. No one owns me. They don't own me. They might. They fucking might. Oh, look at this too. And nobody owns us. That's attracting a lot of badass people. Because who wants fucking handcuffs? Things are changing in this industry and they need to continue to change just over here making MLM great again. I'm going to fucking vomit into her face. Um, this handcuffs, this is the cross recruiting thing. She's still cross recruiting in this fucking post right here. Because they are saying, you got to read between the lines, they're saying my dear has handcuffs. It's a handcuffing you to this or that. I just don't think... It, so, the other thing she said, which was fucking disgusting, COVID was so fun. COVID was fun. It was so fun. Yeah, all those people dying? Fun. People with, like, uh, long-term COVID symptoms? Fun. So fucking fun. Ruined the economy? For fucking fun. For Brink. It was fun for her. Because she got rich off it. Because she scammed a lot of people. Because she lied and said you'd be able to do this and that from home because everybody was desperate to make money. She sold him a dream. She's gross. Yeah, so... She also said in that video that, oh, you know, MLM's changed. Oh, really? Why is that? Why is that? We know why. And they're just chasing it. They're chasing a dream. And... She's just a gross human, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be focusing more on her because, you know, people like this are the, I've I've read, no, I haven't read, sorry, I've watched a couple of videos about Project 2025, which is basically a mandated program that the Trump administration plans to implement the day they they get into office, and basically it's establishing a Christian fascist state. Um. It's very frightening. I, I feel very worried for my friends in America. Especially um, for Gus and Val, who are trans and non-binary, uh, because basically that plan is to wipe out their existence. <sighs> I'm getting emotional. I love them. And bitches like this... Are trying to invalidate who they are as people and fuck them okay you can say that trans people don't exist and non-binary people don't exist you can say it it doesn't make it fucking true there have always been trans people and a third gender always and there always will be and fuck the people like this who support donald trump and and everything that they do love you besties <laughs> that came out of nowhere oh my god <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's just people like this who it, that's that's this is the trump loyalists who get him in so project 25 is terrifying and it's just for rich people it's basically it like it's to benefit rich the rich people it's racist it's homophobic it is um basically keeping people in the poverty cycle they're going to do away with you know like education it's it's grim but the alternative, Joe Biden, what a fucking nightmare as well, you know? Um, yeah. The only thing that we can say is that Joe Biden doesn't call for people to harm trans people and non-binary people. That's the only thing he has above the other side. Actively. He hasn't helped with bills and stuff like that and implementing protections, um, yeah, I know I'm getting political here, but guess what? MLM is political. Um, yeah, so this is an interesting one. Repeat after me. I can be both a good person and make a lot of money. Making a lot of money does not make you an asshole. It only makes you more of who you already are. So if you, if you aren't an asshole, go make that money, boo. Um, he got this. Also, um, it just makes you more of who you already are. This. <laughs> She's not a good person. Not by any stretch of the imagination. She's disgusting. Oh. Yeah. The, th the other thing I thought when I was looking at this is that uh, Marina, she looks really, this is a good picture of her. Amber and Bloom, they're a little bit 
Did we all agree on like a no makeup, no makeup selfie? But Marina didn't follow through with that because she couldn't do a no makeup selfie. Hmm. Anyway, that's a little bit I just wanted to add at the end there. Can't believe it. <laughs> I love them. Okay, I love my friends, and I'm just worried. I'm worried about everything, and you know, like <laughs> explaining that to my therapist and saying like, I'm just worried about you know. <laughs> genocide and stuff like that it's just really affecting my mood <laughs> it's like what can we do about that nothing really you know um yeah so all right i'll go back to the the actual ending of the video now but thanks for <laughs> thanks for thanks <laughs> go watch erin's video it's very good all right watch out bren keep my eye on you hmm all right well have a good one everybody and uh you know, be, don't be a bad person. <laughs> Thank you to the Echo Echo members. On the Gremlins level, we've got Rosie Path of Stones, The Eclectic Mima, Lisa Hans, Lynn Wee, Mountain Crystal, Rut Row Rachel, Danny Mastas, and Trigger Strudwick. And on our ghost here, we've got Demi, The Clown Town, and Katie Murph. Thanks guys, love you.